Hey guys, Anthony, 4B4 Diesel. Hey, I recently did a video um, on replacing a timing belt the hard way. Now, I'm pretty sure, actually, I don't think I put it on YouTube, it was too long, it was about an hour and 20 minutes or something. Really detailed in changing a timing belt. Um, yeah, it was on a 150 Prado. We call it doing it the hard way because you're doing it with a radiator and hoses and everything in the way, rather than doing the water pump and the big front engine job, you know, the drive belt, the bearings, remove the fan, do the coolant and everything at the same time. So we're doing another one on a Hilux. We rarely do it this way. We call it the hard way. That is like just the timing belt. Or when we say just timing belt, it might be just timing belt and idler and tensioner. So I just wanted to put it out there that on the Hilux, it's a lot easier than on the 150 Prado to do it the hard way. Um, if I keep this one short enough, look, I'm not going to do another long one because, um, you know, we, we did that already. As I said, there's always a lot more detailed information in the VIP group. That's for, you know, if you purchase the injector kit or the, you know, the time, we're talking about timing, it's the timing belt kit with the, you know, the water pump and the belt and the bearings and all that, you get in the VIP group and you get to see that long video that goes for an hour and 20 minutes with all the information. So if you are doing it the hard way on a Hilux, not so hard, you move the power steering reservoir over there out of the way, it allows you to get through here and you can quite easily reach all the six nuts and bolts to get to that cover. And you can see it's not going to be too hard to access the um, two 10 mils on the tensioner down there and the 10 mil hex on the uh, idler bracket. So we'll just run it while we're at it. We'll go over the uh, timing marks. It's pretty straightforward, but we'll try and keep this one short so that we can just pop it on YouTube. Um, the timing marks. So there's, I'm told by other people there's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube about doing this. Um, I have had calls from people that have got it wrong from watching those videos. And they also tell me you've got to watch what you watch. And they also tell me my videos are really good. I've got a couple of videos with it talking about the timing belt marks and stuff. So we've done it before, so you can go and watch those if you like, or you can keep watching now. Uh, it's worth watching all the videos, because there's always a different or slightly different perspective or more information, something extra in each one. So the marks are, I'll just put this light down. We need to put it in a place where it works, though, don't we? Um, so that's not too bad. I need, I need an extra hand. Can I have a third hand? Anyway, I'll try that, here we go. So, there, see that arrow there on the back, that plastic arrow pointing downwards? If you look at that, and you follow that tooth through, so that tooth is in line with it, follow it through to the front, and you can see the uh, mark on the front of the gear. Um, you may not be able to see it, it's a bit dirty, it's hard to see, again, I need, I need somewhere to put that light. It's just here. See that little divot there? I'm going to clean it a little bit with my finger. Put all that dust in there. <sighs> anyway, right in the middle of the picture. See that divot? Follow that all the way through to the mark at the back. That's your main timing mark. If that's right, the rest of it's going to be right. It can't be wrong. Now, if you look on this old timing belt, you can see that white mark there. The new genuine timing belts. We put them with a writing facing towards us. And the two, the side of the belt that's got the two close, the marks closer to each other would obviously go up here on the top side, and the left side one goes in line. So this looks to be out, but the engines run. Once the engine runs, it's completely different. So forget about it. It only stays right for the, when you set it up. As soon as you turn it over once, it's going to be out. All right. So ignore that. But it's those marks that you're going to sit in the. That would be say one tooth out if it was to be a new belt and you're putting it together. Um, Look, we're already up to four minutes. I'm going to try and keep it short. So you, I pop the top on with the marks in the right spot, stretch the right side belt down and just put my thumb in a position to hold it down there on the right side in the correct spot. Then I slip it back off here because you need to have it off because see, it's got a cover over the front of the gear and the um, supply pump down there. So you need to put the bottom on first technically. But if you put it on, it might be, it's hard to see what you're doing. So couple of different ways to do it. I'll explain it in more detail in the longer video. So, look, I suppose if you want want to see that, if you want help from me, you know what to do. Buy some parts. Otherwise, um, be happy with this. Now, that belt's just a little bit loose there. Just to give you an example, right, I just purposely turned anti-clockwise to show you the play you get. So, you need to turn things clockwise. And once it's on, so you've got the other timing mark down the bottom. You can check that it's right. You certainly need to check it before you pull the pin on the tensioner when you're putting it back together. So you need to make sure the top's right, the bottom's right. Now the mark down the bottom, I can try and show you, it is difficult, um, usually with a mirror. 
I might go and grab that mirror or I might just try and lower the phone. I'm not sure if we've done this before in another video, but let's go down there anyway and try. Let's try. Yeah. We're going to try and swap hands actually. I'm working around a bull butt here as well, so of course, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Actually, I'll just turn the phone sideways. You're going to have to turn your monitors sideways, right? I'm going to try and get the light in the right spot as well. Is this, is this going to work out? Not quite, it needs to be over here, doesn't it? There we go, maybe down there. I don't know what you can see. I can't see what I'm doing with it down there. Okay, there you go. You can see the arrow there. A little bit more in that. See that arrow, that alloy arrow, sort of middle of the picture now. And there's a little divot on that gear. You see it's lined up with it. Normally there's a blue mark somewhere near there. They don't normally put it on it, but nearby. That's your mark, right? So of course it's lined up now because we haven't taken the belt off yet. You've got to make sure you've got those marks lined up. All you need to line up is this one. If the engine's been running, the other one can't be out. Because if you one tooth out, it's not going to work. Pistons are going to hit valves. Don't try and do this job if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, you just need to line up the top one. Feel free to go and have a look at the bottom one. Make sure it's right. That's what I do. Then once you know it's right and you've got the belt tight on the right side by turning the crankshaft slightly, just a slight bit to the right to take up that slack, you can pop the belt off. Tensioner comes off. Idler comes off. Reset your tensioner or use a new one. We use a new tensioner, a new idler, new belt. Clean it all up. We wash it down. As I said, if you want to see the detail of it, it takes a lot longer than seven minutes so far. I've been dribbling on. Um, that'll get you the basics um, and just make sure those marks are right and it's tight down the right side and it looks like that before you pull the pin on the tensioner. Just remember if you get it wrong it's your engine. Engines aren't cheap. Right guys, doing the timing belt the hard way on a Hilux, not so hard on a 150 Prado. Fair bit harder to get in there mainly to get to the cover. We prefer to do it with the uh, water pump and the drive belt and bearings and everything that we believe should all need to be done. Just do it at 150,000 while you've got it all apart. Alright guys, hope that helps. See ya.